D-S-L-R Film Noob Alright, I'm DJ here with Zeke and he's going to tell us a little bit more about his beautiful red rocket. So the rocket travel slider is a three and a half pound base kit that lets you fly almost anywhere in the world and you can buy your rails at a hardware store when you get there. So if you're going to go to Hawaii and you want 10 foot uh, dolly moves at the waterfall or something, just fly to Hawaii. They have Home Depot there. You stop. It's around six, seven bucks uh, per 10 foot rail. So if you need a five foot slider, you just buy one rail. They'll cut it in half for you and you're good to go. If you have a little pipe cutter with you, they're about this big, uh, and you get into a room and it's too big, you can just cut the pipe shorter. We also sell carbon fiber rails okay. that uh, compact down into two foot sections. So you can have a six foot slider like up on a uh, mountaintop. If you're, you know, if you're gonna hike up, uh, I don't recommend carrying two 10 foot EMT pipes with you. <laughs> comes with the case, it's small enough you can put it in your carry-on bag. It has bubble level built in so you can adjust. It's got uh, bar ends, this is where you put the pipes or our carbon fiber rails. It's got this sliding center port support so it can still be small. It's not front heavy. I was trying to figure out when I was designing it, like I don't want to make it big enough that you can use a huge lens because I want it to be small. So then I realized we could just slide it back. Now when I spoke with you last time, uh, you said that you guys were working with some other people on some possible motor options for? Yeah, we basically we set it up so that uh, it's got multiple taps okay. along the brackets and on the, the sl sled itself. So it works with, uh, you can, if you buy stuff from like, uh, like a hobby motor, you can use hobby motors and some string, or if you want more control over it, you can buy there's uh, there's several open source motion control units and use then a geared belt or something like that. Yeah, you, you can just you, you can actually use some string uh, and like loop it around. I've done it with everything from eighteen dollar setups uh, all the way up to like fifteen hundred dollar setups and all the way in between. I mean, you can use it with the the Genie syrup. You know, what, are you familiar with that? Yeah, yeah. It takes like two seconds to set it up with that. Um, but you know, if you have a quarter 20 screw and some string and an $18 hobby motor, you can start messing around with time lapses and motion control just with that. But if you want, you know, super detailed control, there's lots of companies out there that are making really quality programmed motion control units. So yeah, it's super easy to motorize it. Now what's the base price on this guy? Well, the base kit without rails is uh, it's under 500 bucks, so okay. 497 and uh, it's so you saw it's the size of it. it's like a little shoebox. So, you know, I've been making films for over 20 years and the most important thing is that your gear uh, is flexible. So like, if you get into a situation and you wanna be able to change it, if you're up on a mountaintop and you wished you had four feet of rail instead of six feet, if you have a six foot slider, there's nothing you can do. But with this, you can, if you have pipe from a hardware store, you just cut it shorter. If you have our uh, carbon fiber carbon rails, rails, you just take off a section of carbon fiber rails. Nice. Well, thanks, Zeke, very much for taking the time to show us this. Thank you. I appreciate it.